We've been executing this project for 18 months now. We started with uh, nothing in the lab. At this point, we've developed a full suite of methodologies that allow us to sample efficiently in the field and extract the microplastics when we bring those samples back into the lab. Moving forward, we'll be analyzing what is today the largest collection of freshwater and sediment samples collected in Western Canada. And so we look forward to sharing the data that we'll be generating through the winter. What I think is the most unique aspect of this project is that we are combining three separate lines of applied research in microplastic science into one single project. We are using state-of-the-art equipment in collaboration with Dow Canada. They are leaders in analytical chemistry across the world, and uh, through their partnership, we have been able to push uh, microplastic science further and, and faster than we could have been on our own. We are also developing methodologies together, and this is important for the science community at large. This is a very challenging project because it involves very long days into the field and uh, it requires skills, including a high level of training in safety to be able to operate in the field at this scale. And it's also very challenging because the methodologies that are involved in terms of preparation in the lab are non-standard. And so we've had to put a lot of time, several months, into really understanding and figuring out how to control contamination in the lab and how to become efficient at doing the work that we need to do to extract the microplastics. That, but that's not all of it. The identification and the quantification of microplastics is something that's a deep challenge in its own right. The most important thing that allowed us to make progress is that we brought a community together. Without all of these elements together, progress would have been not only a lot slower, but probably impossible in some of these areas. Teamwork is, is, is really the magic that makes all of this work happen. Without a strong, cohesive team, without a team that loves what they do, and is able to uh, take on challenges that sometimes are quite uh, significant, both in the field and in the lab, uh, this work wouldn't happen. For me, like microplastics is a topic that gets a lot of media coverage. Like people talk about it a lot. It's a very uh, growing concern for a lot of people. So being in the middle of that research is very interesting and getting to see what actually happens behind the research is exciting. I would say that my favorite experience has actually been the field work, like going down to the river and collecting the samples. Sometimes it's been very exhausting. The river is often very cold, but the process of doing that has been very fun. Working on this project, I learned really a lot. It's been an eye opener to me uh, in understanding the, the deep implications of having uh, an important material like plastics in our everyday life.